Good morning, Classroom 1A. It's time for a meeting. <clears throat> Let's go over the details of our day. Yesterday was... What day was yesterday? Yesterday was Wednesday. Sometimes in all this, it can be hard to keep track of the days, but yesterday was Wednesday. So if yesterday was Wednesday, then today is what day? If yesterday was Wednesday, then today is Thursday. So you would do this, there we go, Thursday. So today is Thursday, so sorry, if yesterday was Wednesday, and today is Thursday, then tomorrow will be what day? If yesterday was Wednesday and today is Thursday, then tomorrow will be Friday. Yay, Friday, which means it's almost the weekend again. And we're one more day closer to being together. Um, so today is Thursday. The month is April. And what number? I see a one and a six, and together that makes 16. 16, so we do our six, put our pinky and our thumb, and we shake it. 16, or you can do your thumb, which is 10, to a six. Either way. So, today is Thursday, April 16th. And the year is 2020. What season are we in? My chair is very squeaky. <laughs> what season? This season is spring. We are in spring, which means we're starting to see more sunshine. Maybe some people have allergies. Um, we're getting more flowers. Things are blooming. Springtime. So that being said, what is the weather like today? Remember, look out your window. See what you see. Um, all of the weather we deal with is going to be similar, but we do live in different places, so it might not look exactly the same. But outside my window today, and I'm assuming outside your windows as well, it is sunny. It's sunny today. The sun is shining bright. It's a beautiful day. All right, let's go over our classroom rules. I know we do this every day, but I think they're good reminders. Our first one is be respectful of yourself and others. We need to be respectful of people and you are all people, which means you need to be respectful of yourself. One way to be respectful of yourself and others is to keep hands, feet, and objects to yourself. We need to be safe with the people around us we need to be safe with ourselves. That means having safe hands, safe feet, and, and keeping objects where they belong, being safe with those as well. Another way we can show respect is follow the directions of all your teachers. Remember, who is considered a teacher right now can look really different than what you're used to in school. It's not going to be me and your staff. It's going to be parents, care providers, respite workers, family members. We need to listen and follow their directions because they only ask us to do those things to keep us safe and healthy. 
Always use nice words. Even when we're upset, we still need to be appropriate with our language. And last, but most certainly not least, always do your best. Always do your best. It makes me very happy thinking about all of you, even though you're in different places, always trying to do your best. And our best can look different every single day. It depends on the day. It depends on how we're feeling. But we always need to try to do our best in every day. Okay, let's go over a few communication rights. We've only done two a day this week, so we're going to do a few more. I always have the right to say no. You are a person. You have the right to say no if you don't want to do something or you don't feel comfortable in a situation. But there are things that we still have to do. So you could say maybe no or not right now or no thank you and then finish your responsibilities later. But you do have the right to say no. I have the right to say what I think. You are a person, you are an individual and you have all these amazing thoughts in your head. And you have the right to express those thoughts. You have the right to tell people what you think about things. So do I. We all do. I have the right to make my own real choices. You have the right to choose. You're an individual. You're a person. And you have the right to make choices on things. Do I want to do this today or this? Do I want to wear this today or that? <laughs> I have the right to be treated with respect. This is one of our classroom rules. We need to be treated, uh, we need to be respectful of ourselves and others and you have the right to that respect. But so do the people around you. Everyone is a person. Everyone has these rights. Mom, dad, care workers, respite workers, family members, they all have these rights. We all have the right to be treated with respect. So just like we want people to honor our rights, we need to honor theirs as well. Hmm. Okay. Let's do some exercises. So this worked yesterday. Pushing the table away. Okay. Okay. First, we're gonna do some arm stretches. We're going to start with our left arm, left arm across our body. This is my left arm. I'll go across my body and count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm going to switch right arm across my body. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Count with me if you're able. Twist both ways and count to 10. We're gonna do 10 twists. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Forward lunge with your right leg and count to 10. Right leg, forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to switch left leg forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to do side stretch both ways. Count to 10 each time. So we're gonna go this way. One, two, three, four, five, ooh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then ten calf raises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome job. Doing stretches like these or other exercises are a great way to stay healthy and active during this time of staying home. Make sure you're staying healthy. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we have come to the end of our meeting. It's time to talk about our feelings. How are you feeling today? Are you hungry? Do you have a headache? Are you cold? Are you hot? Are you sad? Are you confused? Are you sick? Are you frustrated? Are you happy? Are you bored? Are you tired or are you thirsty? Remember, these aren't the only feelings we can have. We're human, we can have lots of different feelings, but this is the choice board I have. <laughs> so if you're feeling another way, you can always tell somebody. But if you're feeling one of these ways, please point or tell someone. How am I feeling today? Hmm. Well, as we've learned in all these videos, Miss Jessica has a lot of feelings. <laughs> um... Well, most days I'm a little confused. Sometimes it's hard for me to wrap my head around what day of the week it is. <laughs> then I stumble when I'm getting ready for meeting. Also, I have a lot of things I need to get done, but with the way that quarantine's going, sometimes I don't know how I'm gonna get them done. So that can be a little confusing. That can even be a little frustrating, yeah. But no matter what I am doing, no matter what I need to do, no matter what I think I'm behind in, when I think about all of you, safe, home, healthy, well taken care of, and the fact that one day we will get to be back together and that day will be absolutely amazing. It makes me very, very happy. This is just a season. This is just a one snippet of time. And eventually it will be over. And then we get, be, get to be back together. And then you get to be tired of me in person. <laughs> all right, I miss you all very, very much. Happy Thursday. I'm going to do a reading video. <laughs> I look down because my book's there. I'm going to do a reading video and um, then I will see you again tomorrow. I hope you have a good day today, friends. Bye.